Everyone was overjoyed when they met Garrett, for he was Koran's long-lost son, or was he? Gaining the trust of the Voltron Force, Garrett turned his power to evil. He stole the giant pulsar cannon to use against Voltron. For Garrett was actually an evil clone, sent by Prince Lotar to take over the castle and all of planet Eris. When he lured Voltron within range, Garrett ordered the pulsar cannon to fire. The terrible blast left Voltron at the mercy of one of Zarkon's most powerful robeasts. Here it comes again! Uh, let's go! Garrett's the one who did this! I didn't trust him from the start. He tricked us all. And he's still down there with Nanny and Koran. He could do anything. Ah! We gotta turn and fight! If we do that, they'll blast us with the cannon. You're not kidding. That thing's no pop gun. It's pulsar power. Ah! Yes, we must avoid the cannon. No, Princess. We're gonna let that cannon blast us. What? We've gotta make Lotor think that he's blown us to pieces but we'll only have a split second to fool him. Okay, big guy, if we get blasted, so do you. Let's turn him around. There. Okay, team, when the blast hits, it'll hit this row beast first. Fool. Why are you sitting around? Sir, we await your orders. I ordered you to blast Voltron. Yes, but Voltron's keeping the Robeast in front of him. We can't get a clear shot. Then blast the Robeast, too. Blast both of them. Give them a taste of some raw mega power. Captain, prepare to fire, or your life is in peril. Yes, sire. We've got them on the scanner. Voltron and the Robeast are in range. We're ready, sire. Fire! This is it! Disconnect! <laughs> I've blasted him to bits! Voltron is destroyed! <laughs> He's finished! You all saw it! I've destroyed Voltron! Hail, Hail to Prince Lotar! Exalted Commander! Commander forces us to <laughs> Prince Lotor, Garrett is calling from Castle Control. Garrett, huh? All right. Well, my favorite clone. Hail! Prince Lotor, I wish to remind you of your pledge that if I helped you defeat Voltron, you would send a Starfleet with 10 million clones and that I would be declared their supreme leader. When will the Starfleet arrive? Starfleet? I don't remember saying anything about a Starfleet. You must remember. Enough! Don't call here and bother me again! Turn him off! Wait! You promised me! You said you'd make me supreme leader! These clones will believe anything you tell them! <laughs> Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. who defeated Voltron, who took control of the castle. How could Lotor do this to me? I don't care. I'm better than he is. Better than all of them combined. Yes, I'll find a way to take over Eris myself. Who's out there? What are you doing? Hurry, keep drilling. We've got to break into the control room. Guards, 
turn off the power so that traitor can't stop us. Yes, sir. Fools, do they think I need light to see? I'm not a helpless human. I'm an X-411 clone with infallible neutron sensors. Now let's punch up some auxiliary power, just enough to catch them by surprise. <laughs> Koran, I have devastating news! It's Voltron! They shot him down with the Pulsar Cannon! No! I can't believe that is true. <gasps> shot Voltron! The princess, is she all right? I don't know. We can't find any sign of them. But after an explosion like that, I'm afraid we may have lost them all. No, they must be somewhere. All right. Soldier, alert the Alliance. Yes, sir. We've got to try to fly in under their scanners with our robot fighters. Men, you know what to do. Yes, sir. Oh, tell me, what is it you're planning, Koran? We'll try to knock out that cannon. Our robot fleet is so small. Small but fast. We'll do the best we can. <laughs> Hands up or I'll stun you all. Garrett, what are you doing? Have you gone mad? This is Koran, your father. I have no father. What are you talking about, you silly boy? Everyone has a father. <laughs> Every human, you mean? I should hope so. You're certainly not a robot, are you? Now, Garrett, please. You were such a nice boy. He's not a boy, don't you understand? He's a clone. He was synthesized on planet Doom and sent here to trick us. No, he's not your son after all. You catch on real quick. <laughs> your insolence is intolerable. I will put up with it no longer. You won't have to, father. <laughs> They actually sh shot at me. Dear father, I suppose you called to congratulate me, but that's not necessary. Destroying Voltron was my pleasure. You fool, while you've been celebrating, Koran has ordered a robot attack. A robot attack? But how? By flying under your scanners. You're a commander because you're my son. But if you continue to fail me, Lotor, you will be replaced by a technotronic robot. Mark my words. Hmm. What does he know, anyway? Send some ships to scout the area. I don't think there is any attack. What's that alarm? Prince Lotor, it's a sneak attack from Koran's robot fighter fleet. Well, I have no choice but to teach them a little lesson. Prepare the cannon. Aim at their robot fighters. We have the ships in our sights, Prince Lotor. Open fire. Moran, our robot fighters have been detected. They're firing at them with the pulsar cannon. Surprising them was our only hope. There's nothing we can do now. The robot fleet has taken a direct pulsar hit. All ships lost. by surprise. Now their robot fleet is nothing but rubble floating through space and time. <laughs> That's what happens to robots that challenge the Prince of Doom. <laughs> Lotor thinks he's destroyed the mighty Voltron. He thinks planet Eris can no longer attack us. What does he have to think with? He's a numbskull. So he saw Voltron shot down in pieces. Voltron is always in pieces. They'll reunite and send him home defeated. Even Kitty agrees. Lotor will never learn. He's a born loser. No, this time, Your Majesty, Prince Lotor has proved himself worthy. Really? Voltron is formed from five units. 
to defend itself in a fight, but never before has it been forced to disassemble and fall apart. Can it be possible? No Voltron? Oh, it's true, sire. I saw it in my crystal ball. The universe is now all yours to conquer. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. Oh, oh, this is Black Lion. Anyone there? Yeah, I'm here, Black Lion. Me. Me too, Keith. Am I mad? Calm down, Hunk. I know you're worried about the princess, but she must be out there somewhere. <gasps> Who are you? I am called Ulunam. <laughs> Careful, you were hurt when your lion crashed. <sighs> I have to find my friends. I know they need me. Your friends are looking for you even now. They will find you soon, for I am leading them here with the power of key. Key? What's that? The power of the mind. It tells me, for instance, that you are wondering about the son of one you love. Koran. Koran's true son was brought to these very hills by his mother. The people were digging underground tunnels. Zakan came looking for them. Did he find them? No. My tribesmen hid the mother and child in a secret place. They did? Yes. Zarkhan was furious, but it didn't matter. I used my mental powers to call forth a star fleet from the dimension of Elsu. They beamed up Koran's wife and true son. They live happily now in a dimension where even Zarkhan can't reach them. You see this? We built it to fool Zarkhan. We told him they were buried here. He's never been back. <gasps> oh, thank you. Goodness, Koran's wife and son are safe in another dimension. <gasps> Those ships were sent by Prince Lotor. Without my robot lion, I can't do anything to stop them. But we can! It's them! They found me! Black lion, green lion, red lion, yellow lion, they all made it! Fire proton missiles! I'm gonna ram that one! This one's gone for a little spin! They did it! So you see, Garrett wasn't his son after all. He was an imposter. Poor Koran, he must be so hurt. It's a shame! I feel bad, too, but we got to think about that cannon. It's pointed right at the castle. You said it doesn't work at night. That's right, it's solar powered. But you can bet as soon as the sun comes up, they'll open fire. And blast the castle. Then we've got to stop them. All right, you heard the lady. What about Blue Lion? They're working on it right now. So when they get it fixed, then you can catch up with us. No! Princess, I'd like to keep the group together as much as you would, but the sun will be up soon. We just can't wait. Team, this is one of the toughest challenges we've ever faced. We've been through a lot together, and I know you'll all do your best. Sometimes I wish we didn't have to fight all the time. It's so peaceful up here. It makes you think. Know what I mean? Of course I do. I'm not a city boy. I grew up in the mountains. Yeah. Then Zarkon came and destroyed our homes. I wasn't a fighter. I was a country boy. I lived in a hut, just like that. Every night, I used to count the stars. I never dreamed I'd be flying among them. I used to count the stars, too. How? With a computer? <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. Ready to move out? Ready and willing! Let's get these lions humming. Yeah! All right! Let's do it! Taking such a big risk. Oh, I hope they'll be okay until I get there.
In a moment, the sun will rise and the Pulsar cannon will be ready to fire. Good. The castle's our target. When that's destroyed, I have a thousand Doom cruisers to attack planet Aris. No, sir. Did you say no to me? Sir, your father, King Zarkon, said no more than 500 cruisers. King Zarkon? I'm weary of hearing about him. I'm commander here, and I gave you an order. Wait, I'll do as you say. A thousand Doom Cruisers, two thousand if you like. Prince Lota, the sun is rising. The Pulsar Cannon is coming up to full power. We have the castle in our sights. Good. Make sure your aim is perfect. By destroying Aris, I will prove that I am even more powerful than my father. I will be the new king. Prince Lotor, we await your command to fire the cannon. Ready and... Ah! Ah! Way to go, team. Keep pouring it on. I thought we got rid of them, you incompetent halfwits. Open fire. Form Voltron with only four lions. The cannon is indestructible. Yeah, we need the princess. I'm coming, you guys. Let's form Voltron. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's go. I am not afraid of any of them. They've turned on the power. Lotor must have taken over. Prince Lotor, are you there? He must have lost the battle. This is the time to make my move. Oh! They're here. Hold it! Koran trusted you, but you tricked him. We believed you were his son. You betrayed us all. What you did is appalling. You think I care? Uh -huh. <gasps> Help him! Good thing it was only a stun gun. 
I couldn't help it. I was programmed by a computer to do those awful things. I wish it could have been another way. I could have been happy, but it's too late. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. I have failed my people. I must resign. Because of me, this planet was almost destroyed. I allowed my personal feelings to cloud my judgment. It is true that Garrett was captured and put in prison, but not because of me. I have dishonored myself and the royal house. I must resign. No! Poor Anne. Your only fault was having a good heart. You made a simple human error. And what are we fighting for if not the right to be human? No, you're not perfect, Koran. But you're a good man. Thank you, Princess. And you're as necessary to the peace and security of our world as the whole Voltron Force. We can always be certain that Planet Eris will remain free and unconquered as long as we have dedicated leaders like you, Koran, and Voltron, Defender of the Universe.